G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, the other day you would have saw I did my predicted Australian Kangaroos best 17 for the Pacific Championship. So today I'm going to be giving you my best 17 Samoan lineup for the test matches against England. Now I'm very excited to jump in and talk about this one. And my Samoan subscribers are some of the best. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, you, you've supported me, especially over the last World Cup. So thank you for that. And if you are new here, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the growth of the channel and all that good stuff. But here is my Samoan predicted best 17. Obviously, you guys will disagree with some of my picks. And that is absolutely fine. But let me know who you would change in the comments below. I haven't put an asterisk near everybody that I think could be injured. But we will talk about some players and potential changes as we go through. But the fullback, I think this one is pretty obvious. Suafe Longo has to be the fullback there for Samoa. He is incredible. An absolute weapon. I think some might need to have him there at fullback. The wingers, I've gone with Murray Taolungi. Now, he didn't get selected in the Australian extended squad, so I don't know if he's injured. Now, if he is, there's several players that can come in for him. You've got Jermaine Asako. You've got uh, Greg Mazu. You've got uh, Ronaldo Mulatalo, depending on if some of those players choose to play for New Zealand or get selected for New Zealand. But if they don't, then I definitely think players like, you know, Ronaldo Mulatalo, Jermaine Asako could slot straight in for Murray Talangi. Uh, outside of that, Greg Mazu, a bit like Brian Tao. So I'd probably go a little bit away from Mazu and look at one of the other two there. Uh, Brian Tao is obviously the other winger. He is one of the first players you lock into this Samoan squad. The centres, Roger tuivasa Shek has announced he will play for Samoa in the Pacific Championship. So he's obviously one of the centres. And the other, Stephen Crichton. You cannot leave Critter out of this side. He, like Ta'o, is one of the first players picked, in my opinion. So that is my back five. We move on to the halves. Now, the number seven was pretty simple for me. Jerome Luai locked and loaded. He's good to go. The six, this is where it was a little bit harder for me to choose. Now, I got it down to three. Anthony Milford, Chanel Harris Tavita, and the last one was Dejan Arce. Now, I have gone with Harris Tavita. I just think he offers a little bit more than the other two. Milford's still a great player, and you know, experience could be good for this side, but I just think that Harris Tavita and Luai will complement each other a little bit better than Arce and Milford. The front row forwards, I've gone with Spencer Linu and uh, Stefano Utui Kamanu, I think both those two will get the uh, the front row spots. The reason I didn't go with Taylor May, uh, sorry, Terrell May, is I think what he offers off the bench is so important, and we'll get to him in a second. Uh, my number nine, I've gone with Gordon Chen Kum Tong. There's a few players you could look at there, Danny Levi and Jazz Tavanger, a couple of other players you definitely could slot in there. But I think uh, Gooden Chen Kum Tong will get the starting nine spot. My second rowers played around with this for a little bit. Uh, I think Bloor and Sua are probably the two that get the nod to start. Uh, Luciano Lelua is another good shout as well. But I just I don't see him starting over Bloor or Sua. My 13 is Isaiah Papali'i. He played there a fair bit for the Tigers this year. And I think that he could do a massive job there for Samoa in the number 13 jersey. My bench, Jazz Tavanga, I think he's got to be there. You could go Danny Levi, but I just think Jazz offers a lot more. He can play up front, he can play at 13. He could probably play in the second row and at center if you were desperate. But uh, yeah, I think he covers several positions. I think he's got to be the number 14. Obviously then number 15, Terrell May, he's got to be in this squad. I don't have him starting because I think the impact off the bench is just so important that what he offers. So I think he's got to be there in that number 15 jersey. 
Uh, Junior Bolo. Now, I don't know if he is good to go. If he's not, there's several other options you could go for. You could go with a Francis or Michael Molo. Um, you could go with a to, uh, Toa Sipley. Uh, there, there's a lot of different options you could go with there, but I do think you need at least two front rowers there on the bench, two out-and-out front rowers. I think Junior Paolo, if he is good to go, has to be there. And then finally, Luciano Leilua. I mixed and I mixed him and Bloor up a bit, but I do think Bloor deserves to start over him. I just think Bloor's had a great season for the Storm. And I think Luciano Leilua, he's got to be in this side somewhere, in my opinion. And I think he uh, he locks up a bench spot. Now, the big question, do I think this Samoan side has what it takes to beat England? Absolutely, I do. I generally do. This side is incredible. It is so much stronger than I think anybody could have imagined. And if it is to go like this and go pretty much full strength, I do think that they can beat England. I really, really do. So that is my predicted Samoan best 17 to take on England later this year. I believe that is late October. But guys, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what changes you'd make down below. Again, guys, if you could hit that like button and subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.